Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, sorry. Well, how are you doing? Um, okay, this video is going to be um, a video where I address our opposition's claims concerning the ring laser gyro. All our claims are based off of claims made by Bob Nodell in the 2018 uh, Netflix documentary. <clears throat> so the claim is that there's a 15 degree per hour drift uh, picked up by the ring laser gyro while the gyro was on the state on the, the surface of the earth right um and this is what bob supposedly said happened and whatever right um at the time <clears throat> now i have seen no evidence for uh any 15 degree per hour drift uh picked up by anything um so i'm not claiming either way i don't care whether it does or doesn't i'm just going to use our opposition's claims here as a logic and use it lo use logical inference to bring it to its logical conclusion right which is that their claims we're using their own model debunks their own claims <laughs> right their claims concerning the ring laser gyro using their own model debunks their own claims right and proves the opposite of what they claim so here we have the ring laser gyro. I'm not going to go into all that or how it works, right? You can all, anyone can find that out. Don't need to, you can, most people would know it. Um, so it's just, just as a, a visual reference, okay? So the claim is this, <clears throat> that on the surface of the earth, when there's a, when someone has a gyro, a ring laser gyro on the surface of the earth, then while on the surface, the ring laser gyro is picking up a 15 degree per hour drift. That is the claim. That is the claim that was made by Bob Nodell. It's also the claim made by our opposition, right? Now, as I said, I don't care whether it does or doesn't. I've seen no evidence that it does, but I can't. I'm not making up. I'm not making claims either way because I've just seen no evidence, right? It doesn't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter, right? Now, they, our opposition, also claim that this hot air balloon, when it goes straight up in the air here, won't have the earth rotating underneath it. Neither will an airplane, a helicopter, drone, whatever, right? You, when you jump up and down, that won't happen. This is what they claim, right? They claim due to an incorrect understanding of conservation of momentum they claim that the hot air balloon will be brought along by the momentum of the rotating earth underneath right so if that's the case and the ring laser gyro picks up a 15 degree per hour drift on the surface of the earth here then if it was in this hot air balloon and the hot air balloon li lifted up in the air then it has to be picking up a 15 degree per hour drift in the hot air balloon too if we use that claim because there's no way that it can be picking up it a 15 degree per hour drift while on the surface of the earth and that drift be claimed to be at the rotation of the earth and it not pick it up in the hot air balloon when the hot air balloon rises up into the sky because that is also claimed to have a 15 degree per hour drift right based off of the conservation of momentum that they don't understand and they get wrong every time but it doesn't matter the point is that's their claim I don't care where they don't understand it. That is their claim. So there's no way it could be picking up, picking up a 15 degree per hour drift here based off of the fact that the earth here is rotating and it not be picking it up up here if this is also moving around at 15 degrees per hour. So the logical inference would be this, right? So I'm just going to go in here and show, right, in this little toy balloon here, is that if this table was rotating, right, and this balloon here, and basket was being brought around by the rotation of this uh, uh, table uh, due to some some bizarre conservation of momentum that doesn't exist um, uh, 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 as they wanted to uh, if that was happening right then a gyro picking up the rotation of this table here would also pick it up up in the basket here there's no way for it not to right because it's the same rotation so the fact that Officially, they claim our opposition and Bob Nodell, right? But our opposition officially claimed, and they claim, sorry, that the gyro will be picking up a 15 degree per hour drift on the table, but it won't be picking it up up here in the balloon. So they claim that it will be picking up a 15 degree per hour drift on the earth here, but it won't be picking it up up here in the balloon or in the air airplane or helicopter or drone. So that means that that nullifies their claim and it actually turns it the other on its head as this proves the it's not being up, picking up any rotation to the earth. If it's picking up anything, as I said, I don't make any claims about it. I've seen no evidence, but it doesn't matter. It means that within their claim, it has to be picking it up in the basket also. It can't just be picking it up down here because this is supposed to be carried, being carried along by the earth underneath it. 
a conservation of some crazy conservation of momentum uh, law that doesn't exist. You know, so the, their their claim means that it has to be picking it up in both scenarios. It has to, but it doesn't. It, it's claimed to only pick it up down here and not up here. It doesn't pick it up in aircraft. Doesn't pick it up in in helicopters or drones or anything. According to them, it only picks it up down here. And the reason they state that is because Bob Nodell, his whole claim was based off of being standing on the earth, right? So their whole claim is based off Bob Nodell. But their whole claim and concerning what they're trying to claim concerning uh, earth rotation is debunked, right? And it shows that Bob Bob's claim, if they use that claim, would show that the earth has to be stationary. Because the 15 degree per hour drift is not being picked up by a balloon that's supposedly moving along with uh, the rotation of a globe. So that proves that hashtag thanks Bob, hashtag thanks Bob, proved that it's stationary, right? If we use their claim and Bob's claim. So hashtag thanks Bob belongs to us. So we should be writing it for the next 10 years into their comments because it's ours. Because I don't care, I don't care whether Bob make claims about it, I don't care what he claims about it, I'm not interested in any of that. I'm only interested in what our opposition claim, what based on what off of what Bob claimed, and the logical inference of what it would mean for their model and their other claims concerning this right conservation of momentum that they don't even get right. They don't even understand that they're claiming they're trying to claim most of the time linear conservation of linear momentum. Yet it can only be claimed they could only claim conservation of angular momentum. Anyway, they can't claim a conservation of linear momentum because they're claiming to be on an, um, uh, an object that's moving at an angular rate of 15 degrees per hour. So they can only claim angular momentum. And for angular momentum, the object needs to be attached to the surface <laughs> that's rotating for it to con conserve the momentum. Look, that's, an, uh, that's a separate train wreck. But the point is, is that they prove that Bob proved within by using their claim and what Bob claimed they prove that the earth can't. Now, this is not me. This is our opposition. They're proving or using his claim that the earth is not rotating but stationary. Thank you.